Hey guys, Justin here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom mesh and animations for the boss AI toolkit. So I'm going to use this Dragon Rex Alpha. Uh, it's, in the, it's available in the marketplace. I already made a blend space for it. Uh, nothing special, just the usual direction and speed blend space. Actually, this doesn't have any strafing animations. This only goes you know, one direction, but if you have a character that has strafing animations, it will look like this. So first off, let's create the boss AI blueprint from the BP boss base. So right click, create a child blueprint class. I'm gonna name this boss Rex. Open that and I'm going to replace this one the Rex Alpha Mesh. Now, I have to resize the capsule as well, but we're not going to do that for this. Um, first off, we're going to need an animation blueprint. So, you go to the mesh, right click, create an anim blueprint. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to just copy the animation blueprint that we already have for the examples. Countess. So I'm going to select everything in this uh, event graph. Copy that to the event graph of this Rex. As you can see, we're going to have variables that don't exist yet for this blueprint. If I compile that, you're going to have errors. What you can do is you can right click on each of these variables and create variable. So I'm going to fast forward and create all of these variables. Now we have all the variables. I'm going to copy the anim graph as well. Make sure you don't copy the output pose since we already have that. Paste that. And then we're going to have errors because the animations don't belong to the Rex. So we're going to replace the animations. For example, um, the blend space that we made, uh, the walk run right here. Replace that. And I'm going to fast forward again and replace some animations. Now I just noticed that this uh, particular character doesn't have any one, 180 degree turn animations. So it might look weird when it's turning, but that's fine for now. Now the next one is we're going to assign the animation blueprint to this character we created, this blueprint we created. Now, if we put this guy in our level, it should be able to move now and attack us like so and I'm just gonna make him smaller just so I don't need to adjust the capsule um, appropriately so yeah if you notice that your character is uh, snapping when moving, you know, the animation is snapping, just go to the blend space and increase the target weight interpolation. By default, this is zero, so I just made it eight. So that should allow our AI to stop and start smoothly. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create abilities for this certain character. Cheers.